Finance Minister Lim Gwaneng urged former Prime Minister Najib Abdul Razak to stop deceiving the people when comparing the state of toll concessions under BN and Pakatan Harapan. On his Facebook page, Najib alleged that the Rakyat would end up paying more for tolls under Harapan. However, Lim explained that the graph presented by Najib was inaccurate. So for him, if he benefits, he talks in a straight line. If he doesn't benefit, then he talks in a crooked line. So finally, we say that you got to you got to do your your numbers right. I think you know what I'm talking about. When you talk about discounting, isn't it? And then you also factor in the uh, the increase in the toll rates. So don't try to to deceive again. As I said just now, jangan cuba menegakkan benang yang basah. Harapan decided last week to extend the concessions for all plus highways by another 20 years, but cut toll rates by 18%. Responding to a separate issue, Lim said the Kelantan state government shouldn't face issues paying its civil servants since they can afford new Mercedes-Benz cars for top state officials. Let's cross the bridge when we come to it. As I said, we do not want to sacrifice the, the, the interests and benefits of civil servants because they are, they are not... Uh, uh, guilty, I've done anything wrong. Only, only questions that arise would be, why are they able to afford to buy luxury cars, but not able to afford to pay uh, their civil servants? It was recently revealed that the Kelantan state government purchased 14 Mercedes-Benz cars for top state officials, with the Menteri Besar getting an S450L AMG line.